Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing this style and I'm using some spring twist hair to achieve this distressed locks, butterfly locks without the thumb method. Alright, so I'm starting with my hair already parted and braided and I'm using Beyond Beauty hair. This was hair that was sent to me by this company. Um, this is their spring mix hair in the colour 1B and 350. You get three pegs, you get a crochet pin and you get some clips. Alright, so to start with, I'm using two strands. Um, I use about two strands in front and three strands at the back. And then I fluff it lightly with my thumb. I'm also going to be using some Marley hair because I wanted my roots dark. So get your crochet pin, put that in between, like in the middle of your, your hair. Hook it on, make sure you larch it, close your larch, and then pull it through. Hold in one end, pull the other end through. And make sure both ends are even. Get your Marley hair. And that doesn't have to be even. Pull that through. And what I did was I had cut my Marley hair into two. So I just pull just a, a little bit, like quarter of it out. And then I used a longer piece to wrap around the lock. It's very important that when you're wrapping around, you don't need to make it really, really tight. You're going to think you need to do that, but please don't. If you make it tight at this level, it's going to be very, very tight and your scalp really will just have so much tension. So make sure you do this just firmly, not tight. You should be able to have some leeway when you shake it like what I am doing. Yes, it should not just be completely stiff. So wrap it for as long as, as as low as you want it. And then what I did was I got um, just a thin piece of the spring twist hair. And it's okay if this hair looks like it's tangling. It's okay, trust me, it flows at the end of the day. So get a thinner piece and then you're going to wrap that at the end of the black um, Marley hair. And that is what's going to secure the Marley hair so again you don't need to make the Marley hair like super tight when you're wrapping it because you're going to use that thin piece to kind of secure it so it stays in place and then you're just going to grab some of the spring twist hair and just move it around and just put it all around I'm not doing the thumb method I'm not putting my thumb but you can if you want to but with the way this hair is it just kind of does it by itself like just wrap it around loosely and then you start to see that distress effect just naturally there you go you can see it now and I'm not using a thumb method or anything and it just naturally falls in place so you're gonna do that all the way down to the length that you want it to be when you get to the length you want you would go back up put a knot at the end and then you're just gonna go back up and if you have extras again you just take that back up and down up and down and that's it super simple easy you can do it too so I'm going to show you that again get your hair you can have two strands or three strands um, if you want it bigger then definitely do more than um, three strands Get your crochet pin, put it through your hair, put it on the hook, close your latch or close the latch and pull it through. Make sure it's even at the ends. And having it even at the ends just makes it kind of almost the same width from the from the root all the way down and then get your um, Marley hair and I find using the Marley hair as well isn't as like slippery as my passion twist hair that I did in the last video so I found that this was really really firm um, and it wasn't loose like it didn't loosen up at all so your Marley hair just hold a quarter with a bunch and then have the longer piece wrap around your hair again you don't want to make this super tight you just need it to be wrapped around your hair just cover your base and 
wrap it wrap it around as long as you want that black part and then using this thin part this is what's going to secure um, your Mali hair this thin section that you take out make sure you put that around the end of that black black piece this is going to secure it and then you're going to add more hair and then just wrap it and that's it I will let you watch the rest of the video Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I definitely like this more than the first one I did because I just like how it's just low, it's just low key, you know, I don't know, it's lighter, it um, takes less time to do. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this. Again, this is a big thank you from Beyond Beauty Hair who sent me, who gifted me this hair to use. Um, this is the spring mix hair, so Using this one, you don't have to be like all technical with like the thumb method or trying to make it look butterfly. It just kind of does it by itself. So that's a good thing about using spring mix hair. I'll leave all the links to this hair down in the description. I wanted to actually share something with you guys as well. So recently I have started using for my face, someone complimented me on my last video about my skin looking good. So I thought, okay, let me come and share with you guys what I have been using. So I don't know if you guys have seen one of these. This is by Devoil. Um, this was a gift that was sent to me and I have been using it now for I think about a couple of weeks um, and I really like it. Like your skin really feels so clean. Usually when I put makeup on, I use like baby wipes to wipe it off and then I go in with a soap. But I did exactly the same thing and then I went in again with this. Um, they've got different, so this like, um, you can use on your body. It's waterproof, you can use this in the shower. So you can use like the small one for your face. So after I did my did my regular routine where I'm wiping off my makeup with baby wipes and then washing it with just um, like a some soap, like black soap or something, I then went in with this and this white sponge was covered in makeup. So it just shows just how much I wasn't getting off my skin. So I have found when I use this, my skin feels so squeaky clean. Um, and really soft as well. So um, if you guys have, I don't know if you've tried this, if you have, let me know um, what you think about it and some of the benefits that you have seen as well. So with this, it rotates like that. So it's like buffing your skin, scrubbing off the dirt, the dead skin, scrubbing off any buildup you may have on it. Um, and I love the fact that I can use this in the shower. It's also got this stone where you can use on your like hard parts of your maybe your foot or something, um, which is really, really cool. So I love that. This is like a, a spa. You can you can kind of just give yourself a treat and spa in your bathroom. 
um, or in the bathtub if that's what you like. So if you are interested or if you love this, I'm gonna leave a link, I've got a treat for you guys. I will leave a link down in the description where you can get this for 70% off, yes. So a little um, early Christmas gift for you guys. You can get this, um, I'll leave the link down in the description and I'll leave the code that you need to use to get yours and you can get it for 70% off. Um, again, if you don't have one of these, this is a great investment. Well, it's not gonna be that much of an investment anymore. I think it's $100. So if you're getting 70% off, you're getting for like $30. So it's got the big one and then it's got two small ones. So you can use it to, it's, it's gonna exfoliate your skin, it's gonna buff your skin. Um, yeah, so I really, really have been enjoying using this in my shower and outside of my shower as well. That's it from me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I will leave all the links to everything you need to know in the description. To my next video.